Bricks. In today's video, I'm teaching you guys a brand new glitch on basically it's like an unlimited combat points glitch, and it's absolutely insane. You can probably get like 4,000 to 5,000 um, combat points um, an hour, and probably like a hundred a minute. It's really, really insane, guys. So, I do truly recommend doing this glitch. I really do. Um, and comment down below how well it's working for you guys. And not to mention, you only have to be in Old Villador. You do not need to be in the city. That's why I call it, I call it the city, the second map. Um, so you have to be in Old Villador. And I do truly recommend having the Larch Windmill. I'll show you guys where it is on the map. I recommend getting it. Just go to there, go climb it, activate it, boom, you have it. And not only that, there's also a trader right here, which is perfect. Um, let's see, he's going to give me... Oh, he's like a little level 6 weapon. But, anyway guys, like I said, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it, so make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you guys actually did subscribe, and make sure to turn on post notifications, and yeah. And comment down below, guys, looking for people to duplicate. I see a lot of people are doing that. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be in the daytime, though, which is kind of unfortunate, because at nighttime you get more XP. So let's just go into it. And this always happens since I beat the game. This always happens now where I'm kind of like turning. It's really weird and really annoying, but I'm just dealing with this so far. And if it's happening to you, comment down below that it's happening to you if you guys did finish the game or not. So, like I was saying, um, where you're going to have to go, it's really close. It's right around the corner. That is why I recommend, 100% recommend getting the large one meal. So let's just go down to the spot. It's me at the fashion store. That is the part. And there's going to be this kind of barricade. I do recommend also killing the zombies around you because you're going to be a little bit loud. And it's something I've noticed. And I'll show you guys what I mean in one second. So let me just kill two zombies around me. <coughs> and I hate that buzzing thing every time it's morning. So I do this so much and it always happens. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to this part on the map. Let me show you guys. And like I said, this is why I recommend getting the large swimming. And this is actually a mission you do. Um during the campaign it's a mission you're gonna have to come here regardless so like i was saying i do recommend you know getting that large one meal but what you're gonna do is you're gonna run from the left to the right in a circle and i'll show you guys in a second and what i noticed right is that even um like certain um let me show you guys what i mean even certain accessories give you combat points like this right here it's i know it's modded like you don't see the name don't worry about that but this gives you combat points, and I will be showing you guys that it does actually give you combat points, and it's really insane. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to run in here from the left to the right, because when you go from the right to the left, it basically kind of messes you up, because the really fast zombies, I don't even know what they're called, bro. It's called really fast zombies. They actually go from the right, and it's really annoying, and it's just much easier this way so let me show you guys I mean, just running in a circle i kind of went the wrong way okay let's just run back upstairs real quick and oh getting all the zombies here let's make them come back down and we're gonna run out of the building as you guys just seen and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna throw these at the zombies and look you're gonna see in a second that you're getting combat xp look at that oh my god that's not gonna blow me up I just got 25 combat points. And then keep throwing them. I do recommend duping these as well. Like, you know, just have them duplicated. Look at that. Another 21 right there. That's 40 XP. And what I do recommend waiting kind of a little bit. And, you know, one second. Like I said, there's going to be zombies coming after you. So I'm going to kill these real quick. Okay, let me just kill them. You see, they're still just gonna simply stay there. Some of them might not even actually come after you. Let's kill this one. And look, you're still getting combat, combat XP. Boom. This is even more than I expected. Let's just keep throwing them. So I am. I'm not even killing any right now, unfortunately. There it is, 12. Oh, I'm gonna run away. Yeah, that was gonna blow me up. As you can see, look, I just got 25 right there from doing this. I've so far gotten, like, I don't even know how much from just doing that part. Like, I don't know how much, like, maybe like 100 to 150? Maybe more than that, honestly. Um, and what I simply do is I just simply run back, 
over here. I go back to the daytime, or I go back to the nighttime, and I go back to the day, and I just repeat the process, and this works fluently, guys, as you guys just seen, and like I said, I do recommend duping a bunch of those with your friends, if you guys don't have anybody to duplicate with, comment down below your name, um, and what I've realized, actually, is that there's no cross-platform, even with consoles, like, let's say if somebody has a PS5, a PS4 player cannot play with them, so I am on the PS4 edition on my PS5, so if you guys are on PS4, we can still play, there's PS5 players that can't play with you, unfortunately, so if you guys want to duplicate with me, we can do it, I'm cool with that, and if you guys are just looking for other people on other platforms, go ahead, comment down below, set whatever to, you know, their name or whatever, so hope you guys do enjoy this video, and like I said, this unlimited... Combat XP glitch is insane.